these three foundations I require every horse to learn before anything else. And this teaches mindfulness, body awareness, and spatial awareness, a healthy boundary between my horse and me. So the first thing I'm going to teach her to do is to back up. I want her to back up out of my space with just a jiggle of the lead rope, which is going to keep me safer at all times when I'm leading, when I'm doing anything with her, I can back her up with just a jiggle of the lead rope. If she spooks, like, you know, I'm walking down the road and the UPS truck comes, I can jiggle that lead rope and get her out of my space. So I'm going to teach her to do that. Oh, she's starting to walk away, so I'm going to jiggle that lead rope. Good. And the moment she moved that foot back, I drop my pressure and I look down. Good girl, she's licking into it. Let me love you for that. Let me love you for that. And I'm going to stroke her neck. Good girl. So the first of the three foundations is backing up. Back her up again. Back up. Back up. Good girl. Now, if she hadn't have done that, I would have gotten more assertive with the lead rope. I would have shook it, or I would have snaked it like this and made sure she got the message. Good girl. Good girl. Let me love you for that. I don't want to overdo because I don't want to scare her. That's not the point. I'm not trying to use fear or pain to train her. I'm trying to use instinct, companionship, emotional awareness. Good girl. Those four core concerns, appreciation. That second one was status. That's what we established in the holistic joining was my position in the herd as a herd leader. Her position was one step below me. Good girl. Back up. Back up. A little more, a little more, and see, I walk into her, good girl, and I drop my pressure, good girl, good girl, and she's licking and chewing, thinking about that, that's great, very good, very nice. The second foundation of the three foundations, back up, first one is backing up, good girl, the second one is leading. When you lead your horse, I know I was traditionally taught to lead my horse under the chin next to my shoulder. I find that to be a very dangerous move with my horse, especially when I'm walking down the road. I like to go for walks with my horses, and cars are going by, the school bus goes by. Well, the next thing you know, your horse is spooked, just spooks right into you, knocks you down. So when I lead a horse, I want that horse a half horse length behind me. And now that I've taught my horse to back up with the jiggle of the lead rope, next is leading. So I'm going to lead that horse, and I'm going to make sure she keeps a half horse length minimum behind me. Jiggle a little bit, good girl. So I'm going to take a walk around the arena and get my hand in her face. Need to get back. Good girl. But I keep walking. I see folks when they try this, they stop and they back the horse up. No, keep walking. Keep your momentum. Teach the horse that while you're walking, they need to stay behind. If you stop and correct your horse each time, your horse isn't going to learn anything. They're just going to be waiting for you to stop and correct them. You want to keep your feet moving and teach them this while you're moving. That's the key, keep moving. Good girl, good girl. And that vibrational verbiage of good girl, good feeling, that emotional connection, get back, get back, get back. Good girl, good girl. And this could take her a little bit because she's probably been led under the chin. She thinks, oh, I'm supposed to be next to my human. Nope, that's not a safe position for me. I'm no match for her, and I'd say she's a little over 1,200 pounds. So I'm no match for that. Good job. And when I stop, she stops. She did it. Now, if she hadn't, I would have thrown up my hands and go, ho. Oh, but she did it. I'm so proud of her. I'm going to go up and love her for that. Good girl. And now I'm going to, oh, she's licking and chewing. I was going to stick my fingers in her mouth and kind of get that going a little bit, feather her tongue. But she did it on her own. Very good. She's really starting to connect. Very good girl. And let's walk in the other direction. So I'm going to turn around. We're going to go this way. I'm going to switch hands. Good girl. Get, get back. Good job. Good job. You just kind of watch over, the, over your shoulder and peripheral vision. Good girl. Good job. Wiggle a little bit. Good girl. When I stop, she stops. Now I'm going to turn around. Back her up. Back up. Back up. I want a little more. 
Good girl. Notice I release my pressure instantly with my body. I look down, I bend, I instantly release. That's very important to release your pressure as soon as you get what you want. Good job. Now we're going to go to the third foundation, the last of the three foundations, which is pressure and release with bonding. And this is the setup to our emergency handbrake that I'm going to be teaching this horse how to ride bitless is your emergency handbrake and we start on the ground as the safe and loving place we go when we're in trouble. So I'm going to put the lead rope over her body and I'm going to ask for her nose to the girth but I'm going to exchange a little breath nose to nose when I first do it. I'm just going to bond with her. I grab the lead, the halter at the knot and I put my fingers under it. I don't want to use the knot for pressure. I'm just using my hand. I don't want to hurt. She has a lot of nerves in her face and I'm very gentle about the, the rope halter using that. So I'm just going to rub her girth and first exchange a little breath because that's how they, they greet one another. I'm going to ask her to be soft in hand and look at that. Very good girl. Very good. And I'm going to feather her tongue because I want her to think about that. She's got quiver lips. She goes, oh, I'm a little nervous about that. Good. And I'm going to ask for her head down. Good. Good. As soon as she gives her head, I release. Very good. So she comes off that pressure very easily. Very nice. I want a nice, loose, relaxed, easily flexible horse because when I'm riding bitless, I need to be able to shut that horse down quickly if they get scared or I get scared. So I love you right here. And she moves her feet. I just stay with her. This is also why I wear steel-toed boots when I train horses, because sometimes you can get your toes stepped on. You gotta be careful about that. Oh, look at you. So I'm gonna wait, wait. We got a lot of action going on. A bunch of horses getting all silly right now out in their paddocks. They're playing in the sun. So she's interested in seeing what's going on, but I'm just staying with her. Just staying with her. She has to understand she's gotta focus on me. It's about me, not them. I just stay in this position, just keep going with her. And as soon as she gives, good girl, good girl. She gave a little bit, so I released. Good, good girl, good girl, good girl. Now I'm gonna wait for that nose. Hold my hand in one position, hold it steady until she, there, and she gave. It was so subtle, but you must release your pressure as soon as your horse gives, even for the slightest try, the smallest change. Very good, classy, very good. We're getting set up for that one rain stop. Starts at the safe and loving place. So let's review. Three foundations, back up, back up. Good girl, drop that pressure. Uh-uh, she stepped forward. That's my business, good girl. If she steps forward and I didn't ask for that, I gotta back her up again because I gotta establish my status in the herd, as the herd leader in the herd, my position is the herd leader. Good girl. Good girl, that's four core concerns. Appreciation, status, the third one is autonomy, giving that horse time to come up with the right answer. And the last one is role, and her role is student, and she's starting to figure that out. I'm the teacher, she's the student. Very good girl. The second of the three foundations is leading. I wanna keep her a half horse length behind. She needs to stay out of my space. Good girl, when I stop, she stops. So we're gonna walk into the center. Good girl, I stopped with purpose so she understood. Good job. And the third one is pressure and release with bonding. Actually, I'll put that lead rope up over her. I'm gonna ask for that nose right here. A Little bit of bonding. Good girl. Very good, and she gave. And I'll do it on the other side. What I do on one side, I've got to do on the other. She, oh good, she thought about moving that foot forward and I was ready to back her up. Because remember, I control her feet. As the herd leader, I control her feet. So she's starting to really figure that out, and her instinct is kicking in. She's recognizing me as that herd leader. Oh, let me love you there. Exchange a little breath, and I'm asking for that nose. So she's much softer on her, her offside.